Well, good morning, YouTube. Today, I'm going to show you how to put a 727 kick down cable in your car. The uh, one of the first key things that you should know is that the uh, transmission shift lever there is moves with a carburetor at a one-to-one -one ratio so I measured the uh, radius of the carburetor here and I locked my calipers And I went in here and I had two or three shift levers. Some were real long. And I basically just marked the center of the shaft and I marked on the arm here. I don't know what this was, uh, one inch, 1.15 or something like that. And uh, so that's the most critical part of it. Uh, one of the things when this this thing moves around real easy is because the motor's not running. When it's got line pressure in it, it'll probably push that forward a little. I'm not sure, but uh, see, it looks like I've got a little. I've got to set it kind of a high shift, and you can see my none of my linkage is really tight. Um, I put a bolt back here. I had made a bracket for the shifter, but the one that comes with the little kit works good right there. So, what you want to do, you get back up to the carburetor there. Now, I don't know what kind of brackets you'll get with your kit, but, uh, these brackets are pretty good. You see a little hole right here. Uh, this is pretty handy because uh, that carburetor stud wants to come loose and so you can put a, a little bolt in a nut in there and run that in and that'll keep that from moving. Now it's not real super strong. I put the aluminum bracket on the back for pulling up against this chrome thing here. But uh, if you notice, I've got the, it just starts hitting the, uh, the um, cable there. That's about, well, right there's where the secondaries are. Right there it's hitting the cable. So with it cold and no back pressure in it, see I got about a oh, quarter of an inch of line right there. Uh, I've got the, the throttles not touching anything and then right about here is where it starts putting tension on that thing there so it's, it's probably adjusted pretty close and then of course here's where the back barrels open up and my little plate is bending there I'll probably put something else on it and make it real stiff and then to really adjust your shift, you can move these uh, two bolts here. Are one's a lock nut and one's a well, they're neither one lock nuts. But you put it when you cut your cable. What you'll do, you have to put this all on. And uh, my cable was about four inches too long, so you just cut the cable off. Uh, I would be careful cutting these things because this one here is obviously welded. Uh, they probably cut it with some kind of a melting device. But once you get these frayed a little bit, they're really hard to get into these little barrel things. So once you got your cable set, and what I do, I pull the carburetor all the way open as far as it'll go. And then I go down here on the bottom and I pull the uh, 
to kick down all the way back and I set it with no play in it. Uh, according to Chrysler anyway, that's uh, that's the way you set their normal shifting. But they got a whole mess. Of, there's a rod that goes back here, it goes down to some kind of a bell crank. And that one goes down to another bell crank on the bottom and then that's got a rod. And all three of those got to be right. So if you change your transmission or change your motor or change your carburetor, it's all messed up. So this is the best way to to hook up a 727 that I found. Uh, just get this little cable kit. It's not very expensive, 30, 40 bucks. And you can put it all in there. And I've got it set where I think it'll work good right now. You know, I'm putting half throttle is starting to starting to move my kick down, so at half throttle you're accelerating pretty good so you want it to shift a little higher and if you get it back here and stomp it into those back two barrels right there it's gonna it's gonna downshift and if it don't or it shifts a little higher a little low whatever you can adjust this to to suit your means but this is probably the easiest way to to set one of these things up and uh, you don't have to mess with all that hard linkage I guess the hard linkage is better but this cable is pretty strong and you know it's fairly easy to set up you can hook it up either way you can put this down on the bottom so you could adjust it down on the transmission but me I would much rather be able to just come up here on top with a wrench and give it a couple turns and, and not have to crawl into the car. So anyway, that's uh, my recommendation for a 727 kick down. And once again, the most critical part is this distance here, the radius of your, your carburetor. The uh, the kick down shaft down there should be exactly the, the pivot point should be the same length. I got mine a little long so it's probably going to be a little slow but my uh, my lever had a kind of a step built it bent into it and that's as close as I can get the hole to where it's at so I think it's going to be plenty good enough. So anyway guys like and subscribe if you want to do something with your missing bell cranks and all that this is a good way to do it